Hello my lovely Libras, I hope whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. Please take the energy that resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate then please leave it where it is. I really love it if you could like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video and it would really help me grow my channel which is something I'm really trying hard to do right now um, and I'm really really grateful for everybody that has subscribed already. It fills me with joy and I'm so grateful and I appreciate you all so much so thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's get a message from our angels to start your read, dear Libra. I'm also a Libra sun sign, so this could resonate with me too. So let's see what the cards have to say today. So angel spirit guys, what's the message for our lovely Libras today? What's the message, our lovely Libras? Okay, that one really jumped out. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? This is about trusting who you are. You really need to trust your, like trust who you are. I mean, I think that you want to, to birth something into this world. You want to do something different, but you're a little bit um, unsure whether it's something that you should be doing. Even though it lights you up and you get really excited about it, you're a bit like, oh, should I though? Should I? Should I? Should I? And the angels are asking you to trust your path, trust your intuition, trust you. If this lights you up, this fills you with joy, whatever this may be, it could be um, creating a new business, it could be starting a new relationship again, you know, and you're a bit unsure because you've been burned before. And it's saying, trust your path. Everything that is meant for you will find you. It will never, leave, it will never miss you, okay? It will always, it will always come to you. So, but if you weren't scared, if you knew that everything was going to work out perfectly, like with a new business or a new relationship, it's going to work out exactly how you wanted it to, would you go for it? And if the answer is yes, then go for it. If the answer is no, find a new path. So angel spirit guys, what do we need to know for our lovely Libras? What path are they needing to follow? Wow, okay. All right, so we've got the seven of what? Seven of swords, sorry. We've got the five of wands. And we've got the queen of swords. And on the bottom of the deck, we've got the three of wands. Wow, okay, yes, 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 yes. So the seven of swords is all about um, betrayal. As you can see, like someone's, like you've got the crow here, and someone's took the feathers and they're running off. And I feel that is what's happened here with you. I feel that you may be dealing with a bit of a broken heart. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that you've been dealing with a broken, broken heart. I think you've allowed someone to come into your life and they gave you everything that you thought you wanted, everything that you kind of dreamed of. And then they took your heart they, bro they broke it in half and then they did a runner with it. Then they just fucked off. And then you're kind of left there like, what the hell just happened? And I feel that's what's happened here with you. I feel someone's really betrayed you and someone's really hurt you. And now you're scared of moving forward with your path because you don't want to get burned again. Um, this might not be a relationship, this could be a work thing or it could be a family thing and someone's gone behind your back and they've betrayed you and it's really, really hurt you and you don't know whether you want to continue seeing this person or whether you want to continue to work or be in this particular position with your, your job or whatever it may be. I feel this is a broken heart. Someone has come into your life, you've allowed them into your life um, and they, they've literally come in, gave you everything that you wanted, took your heart, smashed it in a million pieces and then did a runner. And I feel that's what you're dealing with right now. And that's why you're scared to trust your path because you trusted, you took a leap of faith and it didn't quite work out for you. But remember that the rejection that you might be feeling right now is just the redirection for your next part of your journey. So, and with the rejection, there's lessons you need to learn. So maybe you rushed into things too fast. Maybe you should have got to know this person more, whatever it may be. 
whatever resonates with you. But maybe, you know, sometimes we need to sit back and think, okay, well, this didn't work and I'm hurting and I'm in pain and I'm going to sit with this for a while and just let it hurt. But I'm not going to sit with it forever because this rejection is just being me redirected to somebody else that's going to be so much better for me. So what lesson can you learn from this situation that you can carry into your next relationship so it doesn't happen again? Because you've got the five of wands and the five of wands is about conflicts. Now you could be having conflict with this person. You could be like, you want to shout and scream at them. So you're sending them maybe text messages and being like, you asshole or whatever, or you bitch or whatever it may be. Um, but that's not actually going to do any good. It's just like, do you know what? You not you took enough of my energy. You took enough of my pain. You took pain. You caused me pain, sorry. You took my heart and you've done a runner with it. And you've left me here. I'm not going to give you any more of my energy. You're not, like, you're letting them have rent-free space in your head now. Don't let them. I also feel that you want to carry on with your path and you want to trust that, you know, you're on the right path. You're, you're going in the right direction, even though you're in pain. But I feel like you're battling your own mindset here. Like you really are battling whether or not you want to keep moving forward or whether you want to kind of think, oh, I just don't want this anymore. I, you know, I don't want to do this now. Or maybe that is the, the seven of swords is something that's happened to you in the past. And the five of wands is someone else has come into your life now. But you're unsure whether you want to continue, want to move forward. You don't know whether this is the path that you should be on. And you're arguing with yourself. You're going back and forth. And you've got the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is about you being a very, very independent now. Like you're going to make a judgment here. Of whether or not you want to... Oh... Okay, let me let me go through this one more time. Sorry, Libra. So the Seven of Swords, I think someone broke your heart and they did a runner. And they left you really broken hearted and they left you like you don't know whether you wanna like fall in love again or do you don't you, you just don't know. Okay, I feel like someone's really hurt you here. They've really betrayed you. And I feel like they've come back and you're in a state of mind where you're like do I go with this you're battling yourself I feel that you know that you can't go back because of the pain that they cause but you also want to go back because you still have feelings for them and then you've got the queen of swords who lets their the queen of swords rules with their head and not with their heart and I feel that you need to do that you need to set real clear boundaries here with yourself, not with the other person, but with yourself. You're looking at it and looking like, what are the facts here? This person hurt me. This person did a runner with my heart. This person gave me everything that I wanted, said all the right things to me, and then fucked off and did a runner with my heart and broke me. I've had to build myself back up again. And I'm on the path that I feel that I should be, but should I let this person in? Should I not let this person in? Do I follow my head? Do I follow my heart? The Queen of Swords is telling you to follow your head and don't let this person back in. Make a judgment with the facts and the truth and don't make a judgment on what the illusions are, whatever people are saying to you. Because on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is you looking out and seeing what else is out there. Like this person has hurt you and they've come back into your life. And they're, again, they're telling you all the right things that you want to know. But you're starting to think, is there something better out there? I mean, should I be treated this way? I mean, should I, would I treat someone this way? If I wouldn't treat someone this way, then why am I accepting it? Why am I accepting being treated this way? And this is where, like, you're starting to look out. Like, she's looking out with her three of wands, like, what else is out there for me? And this is where they're telling you to trust that path. Trust this path. You don't want to go on this path because you're scared of the unknown. Where if you go back to this person, it's safe. You know it. And because you've been in pain you and you doubt with that pain and you know how to be with that pain, that's why you're thinking of going back to that person. Don't trust the path you're on and look out because something better is out in the out there for you okay the queen of swords is telling you to rule with your head not with your heart on this situation what else do our lovely libras need to know 
it's up to you. I'm not telling you to stay or to go back or, or to walk away, but the cards are saying rule with your head, not with your heart on this situation because there's better things out there for you and this person's already betrayed you, betrayed you once. You know, do you want them to do that again? Strength, yeah. You're going to have to call in your inner strength here. Do you really, really want to go back? You might have a big history with this person, but that's no... That, that doesn't give them the right to treat you the way that you have been treated. Like you were there to, you were ready to go through the fire with them and they ran. I'd throw them back in the fire, but that's just me. Okay, again, five of swords and you've got the five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You've got the devil. Yeah, you need to call in your inner strength here. You need to call in, like, what is it that you really want to do here? Like, you know... It's going to, if you want to walk away, it's going to be really hard and you're going to be like fighting yourself. Like, do I really, oh my God, I'm making the right decision. I'm making the right thing. But you need to call, like you are strong. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away and have peace of mind. And knowing that even though you still might have feelings for this person, you are not being treated the way that you um, want to be treated. Therefore, you're walking away from it. And you have to have that courage and that strength within you to be able to walk away from that and find the peace within your heart. There is somebody that is gonna treat you so much better in the way you want to be treated. It's not even about being like deserving to, I, I deserve this. No, it's not about what you deserve and what you don't deserve. It's about what you want. If you don't want to be treated this way, then don't be treated that way. If you want to be treated better, then go find someone that's gonna give you the things that you want that you the way you want to be treated go and find that person that will do it because he he or she is out there but if you keep going back you're never going to find them then you've got the five of swords and even though you might walk away from this situation here you're going to feel defeated you really are going to battle yourself here and this is what the five of wands above it is for you really are going to battle yourself like if i made the right choice even though you know you've done it you still feel defeated you still feel like, have I made the right choice? If it's not, if they're not treating you the way you want to be treated, then it's the right choice. But you are going to feel like you've lost something. Like, you are, because you've got the Five of Swords, which it feels like you've been defeated. You've got the Five of Pentacles, which feels like you are, you've lost something. And you might have done, you might have lost what you thought you were going to have. But what could you have is out there. You know, you feel like you've lost something. You feel like maybe you've lost a part of you. But that's okay to lose a part of you because then a new part of you is going to come in. And this is where you're going to stand in your power and call your strength. And then you've got the devil card. And this is the devil card is you feeling trapped. And I feel that if you stayed in this particular, excuse me, this particular relationship, you're always going to be challenging it. You're always not going to fully trust it. And you're going to have that voice in the back of your head. It's like, is he going to go? Is she going to go? Are they are they staying? Are they going? You're never going to know. You're never going to have that peace. And that's where you need to call your strength to have the peace. Your ego as well, you know, this is where your ego is going to step in and say, stay, stay. It's, this is comfortable. This is easy. And the ego is just something that is scared of the unknown. But you already know this and it's not causing you happiness. So sometimes we need to go into the unknown because what you're living with now isn't causing you, isn't giving you the happiness you want. So sometimes we need to go into the unknown, hopefully that the happiness is there. Okay, so what do we need to know? Can you clarify the cards on the table for our lovely Libras, please? Can you clarify the cards? Oh, King of Swords, you've got the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords here. Both the King and the Queen rule with their head, not their heart. So they are telling you to really rule with your head here. Even though it might hurt. Ten of Swords, yeah, you've got to finish this cycle. You've been in this cycle more than once, I feel. This isn't the first time this has happened. You really need to sit down and decide whether it's time for you to walk away. You've been stabbed in the back enough. And then you've got the Knight of Coins. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Four of Wands. Okay. So the King of Swords is the counterfeit, the counterpart to the Queen of Swords. So the fact that you've got both of them is a very clear message. The Queen, King of Swords is seek the truth. 
find the truth in this and respect yourself enough to do the right thing by you. The King of Swords is also about having that mental clarity. And I feel that if whatever decision you make, I, okay, I'm just going to have to say it as it is. If you walk away from this person, you are going to have mental clarity. It might hurt to start with, but you're finally going to feel like I'm free from this. It's, I'm not going to continue on this bloody cycle of things anymore and I can start moving forward with my life. But you need to seek the truth and you need to respect yourself. If you decide that you don't want to continue with this relationship, you've got to be very firm and fair and very authoritative with this. You can't let them come in with all the words that they think you want to hear. Okay, you need to be very much in your power here and rule with your head on this one. You are, I mean, we're, I'm a Libra with you and there's a lot of sword energy here, which is air energy, which is us. So um, the king, the sword suit is Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. It is air energy. So the fact that there is a lot of swords here, we've got the king and queen of swords. We've got the seven and the seven of swords, the five of swords and the ten of swords. So this is all about you. You could be also dealing with another Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. The Ten of Swords is like, as you can see, you've been stabbed in the back enough by this person. This has been a continual cycle and it's time to set yourself free from it. Right? Once you set yourself free, this is the end of a very painful cycle. Okay, but you need to, it, only you now can set yourself free. So it is literally up to you. You can either continue the cycle again and again, or you can walk away. And it is going to call in, you are going to have to call in a lot of your inner strength. You are going to conflict, um, have a lot of conflictions with yourself, a lot of conflict with you. But if you want to move forward with your life, if you no longer want this, if this is not serving you, you need to walk away from it. This is what the Ten of Swords is all about, is ending this cycle. And then you've got the Knight of Coins. And the Knight of Coins is about working towards a goal. And I feel that this is working towards you. Working towards um, what you want to do with your life. Okay, and this is why it's saying trust the path that you are on. Sometimes to continue to trust the path that we're on, we need to let go of everything else that isn't serving us. And I think this person or this situation, whatever resonates with you on this, is the one thing that is stopping you from following your own path. And the Knight of Swords is to, Knight of Coins, sorry, is telling you to, to, so, to start moving towards your goals, start moving towards what it is that you want to do. Um, start doing things for you and start working towards them. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that is to let go of the things that don't serve you no more. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the four of wands, which is the 11-11 card. You are finally going to be in alignment with yourself. This is going to bring you harmony and union with you, I feel. And I feel there is somebody else out there. I mean, look, you've got the queen of swords here. And as you can see, she's looking out. What else is out there? You also have the three of wands. What else is out there? What's out there? Is alignment for yourself. It's peace. It's harmony. It's union. You're finally going to get everything that you want. But you're not going to get it if you don't let go of something that is holding you back. And if that's a relationship, then you need to let go. Okay, so we've got one more deck. This is just an angel answer deck. So I'm just going to do a little shuffle. Pause if you want to. But ask yourself a question. Any question. And let's see what the angels answer to. So if you want to pause me. Please go ahead so you can think of your question. And Angel Spirit, guys, please give me the answers to the question that I need to know. For our lovely Libras out there. What is it that they need to know? Okay, one more. Opportunity. You're going to have opportunities. Oh, and on the bottom of the deck, remain positive. You're going to have opportunities coming towards you. But right now you've got a blockage in the way. And you need to release that blockage. And it's not going to be easy. And it's going to be really hard for you to do. But you need to release that blockage so you can see all the opportunities that are going to come towards you. And while you might be going through a pain of feeling that you've lost something, remain positive because it is all going to work out for you. 
that's all I've got for you today, my lovely Libras. Thank you for spending this time with me. I really do appreciate it. Um, please hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification bell, and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. I do these readings daily, weekly, monthly, and the tarot card um, readings for each zodiac sign every single weekend. Um, yours goes out every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Also on my channel there's a playlist about learning the tarot cards and the meaning of, of all the cards if you want to learn more please go and check out that playlist on my channel also thank you for all my subscribers so far um, it really helps my channel grow which is something I want to do because I want to help as many people as I can so I really do appreciate you thank you thank you thank you I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one bye guys